My name's Tori, and you're listening to Tori Talks Music on Scatter Radio. And I'm currently on the phone with the entire band, She Said Fire. So before I get into anything, could you guys all introduce yourselves and tell everybody what you do in the band? I'm Peter 9000, I play guitar. I'm Joshua, and I think. I'm Christina, and I play the drums. I'm Big Daddy Moss, and I play bass. Okay, so you guys are relatively new, well, kind of, because you guys used to be the August Infinity, right? Uh, we, we sort of used to be the August Infinity. Um, we, uh, we got, we got the, I guess, Peter 9000 and Big Daddy and, and Joshua, myself, have been playing together for, for several years now. And, uh, and we just recently picked up Christina as our drummer. And it was time to realize that it was something new. So we, um, we changed the name to She Said Fire like two months ago. Is that? Not even, yeah. not even yeah. two months ago. <laughs> Six weeks, whatever. Yeah, a very, very short time ago. So we're uh, we're trying to hit the ground running. Where did you guys come up with your name? Uh, the name was um, it was, a, it was actually a, a discussion thread on Facebook. Um, I had just kind of I had made a post on Facebook, and some friends and fans were talking, and uh, and one of my friends was like, "Oh, this is gonna just fuel their fire." And then somebody else said, she said fire. And then I was like, well, that, I think that'd be a pretty cool name for our band. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually, uh, I guess we got our name from, from a fan on Facebook, of that, all places. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And you guys are in the process of recording your first record as she said fire, correct? Yeah, we're, um, we're, we're in pre-production right now. Um, we're, we're actually we're calling you from Christina's basement because that's where we've been writing all the songs and like working on, working on arrangements and all that stuff. So we'll be hitting the studio um, next weekend with Mike Watts out here in Long Island. So, I mean, describe the sound you're going for a little bit for anyone who hasn't like seen you live because you guys don't really have anything recorded for people to listen to from the new band so we're hoping that the songs are going to be finished so as long as it sounds finished <laughs> <laughs> yeah Fresh completely <laughs> done song <laughs> yeah if we can get through like the whole first chorus i think we're, we're, we'll be happy with that it's weird i i don't know how to explain it it's like uh it's like, like, some songs are kind of like heavy guitars and catchy vocals. Some songs are not heavy guitars, catchy vocals. And some songs are weird guitars and catchy vocals. They all have guitars on them, though. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's awesome music with catchy vocals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to try to kind of similar to what the August Affinity was, but it's, it sounds more like a band because we're writing the songs as a band and actually jamming them out instead of just sitting at our computers and like writing them that way. So, so it sounds a lot more There's organic. More feeling. Yeah. Yeah, the, the writing process <laughs> has changed dramatically since the recordings that we did as the August Infinity. Um, and, and so there's going to be a lot more organic feel to it. And I think that the songs will sound a lot more realized than the things that we've done before uh, because we're actually playing them in a room together. Um, whereas before we used to just kind of sit and we would record ideas and then add to them on a computer. And then by the time we had a record finished, we had to go into a studio and actually figure out how to play them live. <laughs> um, this time we're doing it the opposite way. So it's kind of cool. So, oh, I mean, I guess that was kind of my next question. I was going to say, take me through like your writing and recording process. But I guess you kind of, is that like all there is to say about it, or is there anything else you wanted to? Well, there's, there's a lot of baby oil involved, but uh, other than that, yeah, I think we pretty much touched on most of it. Mm -hmm. um, we literally just, like, one of us will start playing something, and then the rest of us start playing it too. <laughs> and then we'll, like, record it, and then listen back, and then we just keep kind of, like, replaying the songs and, and fixing what doesn't sound good and expanding on stuff that does sound good and then 
usually by the end of the night we have like a new song right so kind of do it that way we gave ourselves the tightest most insane deadline of our lives when we booked the studio time for the end of this month because only one and a half of the songs was even written at that point and uh and so it was kind of like what what before has taken us over eight months almost a year to complete um we we're pretty much doing in about a month's time so it's been a pretty intense writing process but uh i, I think that i think that challenging ourselves that way and the way that we're doing it is i don't know we've been coming up with some really cool stuff i think i think everybody's gonna dig it um so a while ago when i first met you guys at the room um, a couple of us were at the back of your trailer and we recorded an acoustic of Funhouse. Yeah. Is, is that going to be like a single or is that just like the first song that you guys had written or what's the deal with that one? I think right now, uh, right now it seems to be getting a really good response thanks to you for, uh, for helping us get it out there and putting that video up. Um, but it... So far, people seem to dig that song. I think there's some. I think there's some definite other gems that are going to be on the CP. So, um, pretty soon after we release it, I think we'll, we'll have a good idea of, of what's going to make a really good quote-unquote single. Um, but well, now it's a cool song. We're enjoying it. So. So, is there like a goal release date or a goal like? go in and like start actually like recording or like what, what October 24th we go in for four days and hopefully we get it done in those four days and then uh, it, it, I would say definitely be out by by winter by, by Christmas it, it, hopefully it'll be out by the end of the year um, I guess I guess at this point it's hard to say just because it depends on the, uh, the studio and how busy they are and how quickly they can get this stuff mixed and mastered and all that jazz. And it also depends on whether the world is actually going to end or not. Oh, yeah. Fuck that, Maya. I'm not too worried about the end of the world. I completely lost my train of thought. Um, if you, if you, you're interviewing a band. You're on the phone. Well, yeah, 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 I got that. So, your band is considered based out of New York City, right? Um... Sorta, of, maybe. I might have to say we're based in. I don't know what the hell. Yeah. 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 yeah we're, based in, we're based out of New York City. Yeah. But I get the sense that you guys are all from kind of all over the place. Is yeah, that I'm right? From Alabama. What? I'm from Alabama originally. Where are all of you guys from originally? Big Daddy Moss is the one who's just speaking. He's from Alabama. And uh, I'm Joshua's from Kentucky. Peter's from Pennsylvania, and Chris. Yeah, is... I'm, I'm not actually not real New York yet. <laughs> <laughs> so they all came to you. Oh, really. Long Island, really. But... Have you noticed any difference in the music scene from where you're from, and like in New York City, where it's so like eclectic and everybody's so different? It's exactly the same everywhere that you go. <laughs> There's a scene, and everybody complains about their own scene, and I think each one is probably awesome in its own right, but when people are stuck in the middle of it, they don't realize that. Well, considering that there's no hey rock in New York anymore, yeah. I, think, I think rock is not as strong in New York, but if you go towards the Midwest and towards the West Coast, it's very big. That's what I was Yeah, my experience, rock is way big anywhere that's mm -hmm. not in like the transit area where we're... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thing we're here. New York, <laughs> Pennsylvania, Jersey. I don't think it's as strong for rock. Unless you made it already, then people will go to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be my last question for you. After you guys are done recording and after you release the EP, what are your plans as a band? Uh, we're all going to, with the band, get married and have kids. <laughs> Am I invited to the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no part one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, the goal has been for a while now to become a full-time touring band. And uh, so 
getting the CP finished as quickly as possible and continuing to work on new material. We've, we've been talking about what type of releases we want to do after the EP because really that's just kind of a, a jumping board for us to, to really dive into um, a whole world of music that you guys never even heard before. But the goal is to get on the road and to live in some sort of thing that has wheels. We're not, we want to quit our jobs and uh, eat ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are good. They are. They are good. And there's a lot of different varieties of flavors. Tons of electrolytes. It's actually not good for you. <laughs> what, ramen noodles? They're so bad for you. Yeah, it's on salt. Yeah, but they'll keep you alive. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. You don't, don't <laughs> no, ramen part. noodles actually could kill you because of all the salt in them. <laughs> nah, I know all kinds of people who survive on ramen noodles. I'm going to drink V8. Well, that's all my questions. It is? Yeah. No word. No, thank you. Thank you so much for having us on your show. Hey, Wizard he said fire, and you are listening to story thought music. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, Wizard he said fire, and you're listening to story thought music. All right, let's do okay, this. Do it again. Hey, Wizard he said fire, and you're listening to story talk music.